Hello, tycoons of the video game industry. Video games nowadays suck. No, I'm just kidding. Apparently, they've gotten better and better, but I don't really play new video games that come out these days. But that's no problem because millions of other people, maybe not millions, maybe just hundreds of thousands of people play them. So your sales are still up. They're still good. But for me, I just keep coming back to the games that I grew up with. Like this one, Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga. I just can't get enough enjoyment out of it that I just had to go and head and do an entire playthrough just to see if this one other YouTuber would do a review of this game, which he has, maybe has, but I haven't even bothered to check because I was like, you know what? I'm done with trying to get Penguin Zero to do a moist meter on this game. I'm just going to keep enjoying playing it. And that's that. I'm going to get all the mini kits and I'm going to get all the red power bricks. Because I've never done that before in LEGO Star Wars Complete Saga. I have done it on LEGO Star Wars 1 on GameCube. And I have done it on LEGO Star Wars 2, the original trilogy, also on GameCube. And I even had this game for PSP, but don't quote me on that. I may not have. It may but just have been GameCube. Oh, you know what it was? I, I played it before LEGO Star Wars 1 on Game Boy Advance, which I highly do not recommend. Play it on console. Don't play it on handheld. It's, it's just not the same. And of course, this is on Xbox 360. And I mistakenly bought LEGO Star Wars Complete Saga for Wii because I thought I would be able to capture my gameplay on that, but come to find out, I have the Elgato game capture card that works with HDMI and not the three plugs, you know, the, the red, yellow, and white ones. So I have two copies of the Complete Saga for two different consoles. So um, that was fun. And it's, I'm not even going to bother to return the one for Wii because, I mean, it's not really worth it. What, what are they going to give me, like, ten bucks for it, maybe? It's a used copy anyways. So as I speed up through the parts that I'm not getting mini kits or the red power brick... Just enjoy because this is the only map, this is the only level on the Dagobah system, the Dagobah, well they call it the Dagobah system in episode 5 of the Empire Strikes Back, but is this the planet Dagobah or is, are we just in the Dagobah system? That is what I've always been confused on, but either way we know it's the planet that Yoda retired to to live out his days amongst these weird creatures and... Eventually, he gets visit, visited by Luke and Obi-Wan's Force Ghost, but pretty lonely existence, if, if I do say so myself. I don't think I'd uh, be able to survive on this planet and keep my sanity intact. But that's just me. Maybe some of you are kind of a lone wolf type, and you could uh, live out your days in the, in the mountains just hunting squirrels and... I don't know. I don't know what you would do these days without Wi-Fi. Kind of, it you know, it helps pass the time when you can go on the internet and stuff and watch videos like mine. But I hope I hope you don't watch a lot of mine because there's way better videos, way better production quality out there on YouTube compared to what this is. And I think after I finish this series on Lego Star Wars, I'm gonna up the ante in the creativity department in the unorthodox department because I I think I've been kind of slacking a little bit on that. And just for my sake, you know, getting better at this stuff, I'm going to do that. Not only for y'all's sake, because I figure if I'm a little more creative, a little more unorthodox, the more people will want to watch, and it'll be a win-win all the way around. So let me get this mini kit in that cage. That'll be number seven, and then we'll have just three more. Did I call it correctly on the, on the audio? Oh, no, that was number eight. I already did have seven. So I have the red power brick already, and it's going to be regenerate hearts, which I don't, it's funny because I don't need it because I already have invincibility turned on. And just turn on invincibility once you get that red power brick because it's really not fun getting blasted by stormtroopers constantly because in LEGO Star Wars Complete Saga, the stormtroopers, they actually hit you, unlike in the movies. So you're taking, uh, taking damage left and right and there's certain levels on the Death Star when you just you can't get through that area if you don't have invincibility on without dying at least a couple tens of times. So now we're gonna fight this Darth Vader 
ghost thing. It's not really Darth Vader. It turns out to actually be Luke's face. Which, uh, the first time I saw that in the movie, I was like, what is going on? This doesn't make any sense. But then, you know, later, once you finish the whole orig original trilogy, then you're like, okay, that makes a little more sense. But I was like, why is Luke's face staring right back at him? Like, is Luke going to become Darth Vader? Would that have been cool if Luke joined his dad when his uh, dad invited him to join him to rule the galaxy when they were on Cloud City? Do you think that would have been a way better turnout to the series if they had struck down Sidious themselves and both become Sith Lords? Or would the Rule of Two still um, been in effect and then you know Luke would have wanted to kill his dad and that would have just been a whole dark way to end the series i guess but looking forward to episode nine literally next week i hope to go see it and y'all click off this video go watch episode nine trailer because i am ready for the rise of skywalker i don't know about y'all that's gonna be very very good hopefully that hopefully they don't mess up the last one you know just just do it right please so anyways thanks for watching and this one is for mr beast because he's a nice guy. There's a few nice guys out there left on YouTube helping out the community and whatnot. So I'll see you later.